this final part, uh, we're going to put it all together. So we're going to need some angles. We're going to need the chassis rails we, we created in part one. We're going to need our shaft collars and also the 2.75 inch wheels. So first of all, we're just going to slide on the chassis rails we created in part one to the drivetrain that we created in the last video. Uh, this should just slide in. You just have to be careful about pushing it in. Make sure that your axles push all the way through and then you can put on your shaft collar. Yeah, make sure these are nice and tight. It will dictate how straight your robot drives. Okay, and then we just need to repeat that for the opposite side. So just slide it on, put your wheels on, and put your shaft collars on. Next, we need to put on the bumpers. Now you notice I've actually used larger bumpers than what I showed originally. This is because I'm using the version five rails. So we can't uh, use the smaller rails, so our, our square bot won't actually be square. Um, but that doesn't really matter, it's not really gonna affect it. We'll actually have a better center of gravity. Um, but what I'm gonna do is instead of putting it into that first hole, I'm actually gonna put it into the, the second hole, which gets a little bit easier to um, put in the next nut uh, when you're trying to screw. It's quite tight in this space. So make sure you tighten that. Again, make sure you use uh, your screwdriver to tighten it up and as, as well as a spanner. Okay, make sure you fasten it to both rails, not just the one. We can repeat for the other side. Obviously, make sure that you've got it around the right way and your wheels are facing the right way. Try and use two screws for the outside, and then you can just use one for the other or, or two, depending on how adventurous you're feeling. But it's a fairly sturdy structure. So you notice here, this is the comparison here between the, the other one you see how it wouldn't have actually made it square because of those motors. Then we're gonna repeat the same for the other bumper. These uh, can also, you might have to actually uh, strain a little bit to try and get some of these to line up. Um, but if you push the screw through, then after that it should be smooth sailing. I'll get these four in and then I'll do the top. Okay, so now we have it all working. Make sure your wheels are turning nicely. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is build a little canopy for uh, our components, our brain and our battery to, to mount onto. Um, you can do this slightly different. I've used actually quite large razors here, uh, you can, just for demonstration, but you can use other ones. So basically the battery will sit on top of that, and then we'll also have the brain. Make sure you have access to the brain's uh, battery port as well as uh, the ports for the, for the other things to, to go into, the motor cables. Okay, so we'll just fit these. They're pretty self-explanatory how to, how to connect them. Um, I'd advise that you connect the battery clips and the brain before you connect it to your robot just because it's easier uh, than trying to trying to post it underneath. So put those screws in. So probably, probably actually only need two screws for this rather than four. And then we're going to have the battery clips. Again, battery clips, you can put one in the center or you can put two if you want extra sturdy. Okay, and once we have our battery clips connected, we can then mount our platform to our existing robot. You can choose where you want to put it. Uh, probably experiment a little bit with the uh, center of gravity. I'll put it to one side. It's probably not best because it'll be prone to tipping to one side. Uh, you can put it into the middle if you please. And then after that, our robot is complete.